And it pisses me off because I have the worst luck with cops. So when you see when when I see a cop next to me and there's a car that fucking doesn't use their turn signal, I'm like looking at them like, are you gonna do something? Like what, what's going on, man? Yeah. What is going on? What's going on, guys? How are we feeling, baby? It was a bit. It was a fun weekend this weekend, right? It was a really fun weekend. Um, <laughs> my eye fucking hurts, but we'll get to that in a bit. Yeah. By the way, um, Wolf's Web, Mast, Migs. It's your boys. We always fuck up the fucking intro. We're too, we're too we're too comfortable at this point. We're too used to just getting getting started, getting a combo going. You know, it's uh I feel like doing the whole intro is like it's a part of like the corporate side, the business side and all that. Yeah. Um but yeah, you know, we're Wolf's Web. Uh this is episode 12. Thank you all for coming back and watching us speak some bullshit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um yeah, this past weekend uh we actually uh linked up Saturday. To uh-huh. kick it with David Dreams from Maple Alley and PLP. And uh, his girl, Karina, it was her birthday this past weekend. Karina. And it was their anniversary. Just like m- me and my girl, like we're two days apart on our anniversary. I think they said they're the same day, the anniversary and birthday. So, you know, if you're smart, if you're trying to get w- with a girl, just do it around the birthday. You get the two for one combo bundle special. Be frugal <laughs> out here, fellas. Be frugal. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how it is with me because my birthday is on December 21st. And so as they, they be trying to bundle up the Christmas and birthday stuff. Nah, that's bullshit. Yeah, it is, it is, it is some bullshit low-key. Like, you're getting finesse out of the gifts and shit or, like, they'll fucking go cheap on you or whatever. Have they ever, like, go with this bullshit with you? Like, say you'll ask for something? Like, all right, do you want it as your Christmas gift or as your birthday gift? Always, always. Well, yeah, yeah, pretty much always. Or they just, like I said, it's just the bundling up shit. yeah. I don't know. I, th- I feel like that's just a, a Christmas thing. I don't know any other holiday that it would it would land on the same thing. Or maybe Valentine's, the same concept. Yeah. yeah with your girl around Valentine's Day. Or, um, no, I think that's it. Because if you do like Thanksgiving, it's, that's <laughs> random. It doesn't stuff. work out that way. Like, you want turkey now on your birthday or on Thanksgiving? Facts. <laughs> so, yeah, we linked up over this past weekend. Uh, yeah. Uh, we went to go eat. Do you remember the restaurant name? Because yeah. I know they changed it. It used to be called La Playa, Las Playas or yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's called Via del Mar. Okay. So, yeah, they, like, rebranded or whatever. And it was cool. I you could it. tell. Yeah, because last time I went in there, it didn't really have that atmosphere of how it looked like in there. Yeah. It was more of, like, um, not really club style, but you know how, like, the whole Calaveras and all that, the fucking uh, Mama Por Dios. Yeah. It's obviously not that scale because they're rich-ass foods and they have, like, a like big property. Mm-hmm. Whereas this one is just more smaller scale, but they have, like, club themes. It's, like, club lightings and shit and fucking um, skeletons on the walls. Oh, yeah, they have the skeletons. Yeah, so everyone's going for that vibe now, and, and it's cool. I mean, it's cool to give people more choices if if one option is more expensive than the other. I I did see the, um actually it's it's funny because I saw a TikTok on that place recently. I was like, really? Uh, yeah, like you know, like those food um oh, yeah. yeah, those food critics or whatever they go to places. They 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 actually went to that spot, and I was like, what the fuck? I I don't. Know, it's very rare seeing a Fontana location on one of those. They did have like this, you know, because people have beer towers and shit at places. They had an Adios tower, which I'm like, that's wild. Yeah, I think we need to get that one day. Yeah. For sure. For sure. It was like 70 bucks, I think. Uh, yeah. which, which isn't too bad if it's a tower, you mm-hmm. know, and if everyone's like splitting it. Um, But yeah, 70 bucks was getting fucked up off that shit. Gilly. Usually I would always, Adios would be my go-to for most like places like uh clubs back then. Yeah, but we didn't open that. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. Adios is like a, a quick way to get drunk, you know? Yeah, it's like... It's kind of like they're for loco. It's the quickest way to get drunk, but it's also the quickest way to get a hangover. Yeah, facts. That that Those are hangovers right there. Yeah. All the sugary drinks, alcoholic beverages, you're going to get a fucking hangover. And that was the problem with for loco back in the day, at least. They used to have caffeine in them and shit. Yeah, they used to be like on a sick one. Yeah, but... um. So yeah, uh, uh, we 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 went over there. We ate. I think uh, she had gotten the what is it? The flight? What was the flight that she got? Because I wasn't there when she ordered um, it. She ordered a margarita flight, but margarita she only flight. drank two of them because she, she gave one to David and one to Gabby. Yeah, they look cool. I mean, the presentation is good over there. Yeah, the drink presentation. I ordered her. Um, it's called La Playa. Mm-hmm. It was a. It was like some fucking green drink. I don't know what was in it, but it had like a little rubber ducky on top. <laughs> I just feel, I didn't feel bad, but it's just it was funny because our waitress she was. She had a really thick accent. And she looked, oh, yeah, true. She sounded real, not even being her, just like, like real Latino. And I was like, damn, you must have just 
not been born in the states then <laughs> nah she probably just got here like a couple years ago or something yeah she was she was a very nice girl yeah she was nice uh good service at least from what i experienced i was yeah. there for a little bit um but yeah yeah uh, also this past weekend was um on friday we went to i went to my brother's graduation he got his associates shout out jay yeah jeremy um congrats uh he he got his associates and uh fuck i'm gonna fuck this up and he just told me it's some aviation stuff, something. Oh yeah, he wants to be a pilot or something. Yeah, he's trying to be a pilot, so I mean that would be sick as hell. Hopefully, give, give me some, give us some fucking deals and I shit. Know. You know, if he works for a, a popular airline at least, because I know he's, he's juggling between doing like that stuff where you work for an airline, or just doing like independent stuff where, um, basically you're flying for like maybe um a celebrity or something. Yeah. Or just random random little gigs. So it's there's there's it's sometimes we don't think about it, but there's literally gigs for any type of pilot to do like anything like flying the banners mm-hmm. or just I don't know random if maybe uh fuck I'm trying to think there's this maybe skydiving even because you oh, gotta yeah. be a pilot yeah, to do yeah, skydiving. Yeah. So yeah, I mean um it'll be cool to do that type of shit. Yeah, I mean I, I'm honestly like I, I am like I am pretty proud of him because that's more than I can ever say because like, your boys are college drop out here. Facts, 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 facts. Yeah, I only did one semester, and I only did the semester so I can, so I didn't have to return the fast food money. <laughs> <laughs> we fooling the system out here. Yeah, and, and really, dude, like the fast food money. I don't know. They they be giving a lot of kids a lot for no reason because mm-hmm. I only needed like money to rent the books, which was like sixty bucks each, and so it was like a total of one hundred twenty. And the rest I just fucking bullshit. I feel like I got jipped with the school I went to because all all of that money, any money I they were giving to me, that all that shit went to the fucking school. Uh, I was like, fuck, I don't get anything. Damn, all bad. And then you had to drive far on top of that. Yeah. You had your vape problem on top of that. Yeah. <laughs> I had a lot of things going on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, but yeah, dude, congrats again, Jeremy. Uh um, hopefully you well, yeah, he is gonna keep going. I'll fucking smack him if he doesn't keep going. Yeah. Um, so um Fuck yeah, because my mom wants him to be a doctor and all that, but he wants to be a pilot. So screw that. Be follow your dreams. Yeah, man, follow your dreams. We gotta stop listening to our parents, you know. But if you, uh, I, I'm like, I dead ass think like if he does stop going to school, like your whole family's gonna like stomp him out. Facts, I'll stomp him out. <laughs> yeah. Um. And then yesterday we went to where did we go? What was the restaurant called? Cause I don't fucking know. I literally pay, barely paid attention to that shit. So yesterday we went out for Katie's birthday again because since they're in Hawaii, I, I didn't really get a chance to celebrate them. So I told them I'd take him out to eat. And so she, I told her, you go pick where you want, and we'll go there. And she's like, okay, I want to go to this place. And it's called like Yup. It was like a, yucked up, yeah, yeah, that's what I remember now. It's like a, <clears throat> sorry, it's like a taboki, uh spot, which is like, if you don't know, it's like a Korean rice cake dish, but like they make, the way they prepared it there, it was like a big ass fucking bowl of that shit. Yeah, that shit's like probably like this big, literally. And it had like rice cakes, fish cakes, noodles, melted cheese, it had something else too, I forgot. And it was like, and it comes in like um, a really thick, um, like spicy sauce, and you can choose how spicy it is. And this, this bitch is crazy. She was, she picked mild because the guy told him, like, all right, that's the best one. And it's still pretty spicy. And it's like, it's okay. And then she got it. It's like, it's not spicy enough. And the, and the rest of us are all here dying. And she's like, bitch, it's fucking spicy enough. Nah, bro. She for sure trained me. Like, even before I got with her, like, I was never putting salsa on anything. Yeah. And now I just, like, uh, I always eat salsa on, like, all type of dishes. I'll fucking put, uh, even though it's not hot, but I'll put, like, sriracha and fucking... Um, um buffalo sauce like mm-hmm. on random ass things but um the one that she put me on to was like some habanero sauce like she put it in my breakfast sandwiches that's just fire but yeah i for sure love all types of spices even if i'm spiced out because i'm easy i sweat a lot like so yeah. you'll start seeing it from my nose or my mustache or even the fucking my forehead but i'll start sweating a lot when i'm eating but i'll fucking be, I'll be enjoying it you know it's, it's a fucking painful it's a painful no it's a if 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 Hurts so good, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it tastes good, and it, I am dying, but it is what like it I is. like. I love spice. Don't get me wrong, but it needs to be tasting good too. If it's just spice, just to like feel some, because you know how like, I because I called her, I, I, called, I made fun of her yesterday. Like you have the taste buds of a coal miner, because back then these motherfuckers had no taste buds. So <laughs> the only thing they were eating was just spice, because they can feel it in their mouth, but they can't taste it. Yeah, you remember we did that um, spicy wings challenge thing for one of David's old vlogs? Oh yeah, man. Yeah, I, I ate the most like the. Pretty much none of us finished, but we went based off of who finished the most within a certain time limit. Yeah. And I, I won, but, you know, I, I didn't win much. I, <laughs> I went straight to the sink and was just keeping my the water hitting my fucking tongue. And we're eating ice cream and all that. Yeah. Um. Do you remember who ate the least? It was probably either me or uh, Ide. Oh, yeah, true. 
True, true. I think no, I think it was like that because I, 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 I kept going, but I was just eating it super slow because I was like, boy, this is hot. And it got to a point like where like like it, the the hotness just plateaued, but I was just I was just dying. Yeah, <laughs> that's just crazy. Fucking Isaiah, you better fucking hit us up for the pool party soon. Supposedly huh. it's gonna be ready soon. We'll see. Supposedly. There's and then she's supposed to invite all of us. So yeah, homegirl has been ha- she got a house and it has a really cool pool and she ain't invited us not once. I know. She only invites her little fucking clique. That's some bullshit. Jonathan, you need to get a new girlfriend, get her stepping or something. I know, but but yeah, it's about to be summer, I guess. Technically, um today's today it releases on the nineteenth. So um tomorrow i think summer starts june 20th technically but mm-hmm. we should have been feeling the summer weather already like it's been raining and it's like there's still little thunderstorms coming soon yeah. like lightning there's a storm called el nino that we were supposed to be having for a while now but because like the last like the last winter this uh, this past winter it was like already super rainy like un- like unreasonably rainy anyways uh like california doesn't really need the rain anymore but now it's still coming anyways so i was like oh fuck more water yeah, I mean, fuck, dude. It's it's kind of annoying. Well, I can't get a fucking car wash, man. I've had like two car washes in like five, six months. Yeah. That's some it's, bullshit. It's, it's really hard. And, and 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 even when we went to the restaurant, Yuck Duck, it was raining. And I think um, there was a flash flood warnings and all that. Yeah. And I'm, I mean, uh, I usually never take those that serious because they always would send us those warnings on mm-hmm. our phones and shit and nothing would happen, at least in our area. And so, I don't know. I just turned that fucking notification thing off. But, um, I mean, recently, like, I, I, I had just gotten in my car um, when this happened. And it was maybe, like, half a year. And it was, like, raining hard as fuck. And yeah. right there by the gym uh, on Baseline, it gets flooded as hell right there. Because that's where all the wa- water is Oh, is this when it was, like, raining super bad? Yeah, bro. And and, and so I was, like, driving out of nowhere. All you see is just, all, like, this big puddle. Because you can't really see from a distance with all the raining hitting you. Yeah. And all of a sudden, and, and that shit hit the bottom of my car pretty hard. And like the little the little plate that covers like all the engine and everything mm-hmm. or all that stuff under your car, it like popped off and it was like scraping on the floor. I was tripping out, bro. I thought I was over. <laughs> I was like, fuck, man, I can't keep a car for shit. And so I fucking pulled into the the nearest um fucking crossway or whatever. Yeah. And uh there wasn't as much water right there. So I had fucking pulled over and it was pouring hard on me. I had to get under the car and like look see what was see what was going on. Yeah. And that play was like sure enough it was like bent. And so I tried to fucking it was it's hard, bro. It's like pounding rain and I, I have to go on my knees and it's fucking, like it's like a thick plastic. Yeah, and it's it's like hard, almost like metal. Yeah. And so I had to fucking bend it up as much as I could. And I got it enough to the point where um it wasn't scraping anymore, but it was still like hanging. Yeah. So um I I I mean I fucking got it done, <laughs> thankfully, but like the following day or following like sometime that week I had to go take it to the dealer and they fix it. But such a such a hassle, such like all these annoying things because it's fucking unnecessary rain. Yeah. And I love rain. I'm a rain guy all day, but I need I need some time to to fucking I need a break from it, you know? Yeah, it's like a, it's like when you're getting wet and then people keep wanting you like, all right, chill, 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 and they keep having to stop. Yeah, bro. Like I love the rain when it's supposed to be raining. It's not supposed to be raining right now. Yeah, we're supposed to be dying of heat and then we're out he's out here in a hoodie and a beanie. Yeah, facts. But uh, I mean, uh, that's how it's gonna be in the warehouse too. Like yeah. it's not too it's not too hot right now. I mean, I could take this off eventually because um usually throughout the day it gets warmer. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I mean uh, that's the only good thing about the cold weather, I guess you could say, is just it's like the weather is fine for work and shit. Yeah, and because I mean, if you're working in a hot ass warehouse, I mean, you could appreciate the cold weather. Yeah, and then it gives me an excuse to keep wearing my beanie, so that way I don't have to be like trying to, because uh, I, I we can't wear headphones at work, so yeah. I have to wear beanies, even though like last year I kept wearing them and it's like hot as balls. Yeah, and you're I, fucking crazy. I mean, I was the same way. Like, yeah, like I was I was a kid in, in school that would always wear the fucking sweater in summer. Or wear my hood and shit. Like, bro, I was shuffling, making shuffle videos in the middle of summer. Like, August summer. So that's when it's peak hot. And, and we're outside making videos. And I have my sweater with shorts and shit. That was the style back then. Facts. No, I was still rocking that shit. I don't give a fuck. Kitty was roasting me yesterday. She's like, there's a lot going on with your outfit. Because I was wearing a crew neck and, and sweat shorts. And then fucking. I thought you looked cool as hell. Man, fuck that bitch. She don't know. She don't know the style. And he color coordinated. I didn't realize it that until he took off the fucking sweater. I was like, damn, this will match with the socks still. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See, because my plan was to wear just my shirt. Yeah. But um, because I I walked out, I was like, man, it's feeling a little chilly, and so and I saw the rain coming from a distance, so I, I just went back to put the sweater on. But but yeah, I always got to match. You know, that's oh, uh, that's how I want my kids to be and shit. I I, I saw I seen way too many kids in school fucking. Wearing like plaid button ups with fucking 
some plaid shorts. I'm like, what is going on over here, man? Hey, I, they, they don't have anyone to tell them what to do. I don't know if my homie watches, but he, well, I haven't talked to him in a while, so I should probably hit him up. Uh, but he moved to Missouri. Um, mm-hmm. He's from Missouri. I met him in high school, and he was like a freshman. I was a junior, and he was only here for that one year, I believe, or at least a year and a half, and then he moved back to Missouri. But he was like one of those kids that, like, he, since he's new and shit, he's kind of like yeah. antisocial. And, and so, like, um, he sat next to me in my computer class, and, and that's where I actually learned a lot of Photoshop skills. Um, but I was, I was, um, I basically introduced myself to him and I took him in under my wing, took him to all the house parties and all that, introduced him to a bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, my boy was, it was, he stayed rocking the fucking plaid shorts and, like, the fucking, childish as graphic tees and stuff <laughs> like that you gotta, you gotta put them on game yeah bro like like you guys fits from walmart look like and i'm not talking shit on it i'm just saying like i'm trying to explain like how his whole aesthetic is like those type of kids like from like the middle of the country and shit you know that like they yeah. have like the fucking big ass mop hair and then they they, they they don't know how to color coordinate so i was putting him onto game i took him to the barber i took all that and i took my boy i sent my boy swagging back to fucking missouri Yes, sir. He's gonna get all the the the, the Midwest hoes out there. <laughs> nah, but I've been meaning to hit him up. I t- it's, it's it's funny too, cause when you're in high school, you give all these fucking these empty promises and shit. Like, yeah, bro, when you move over there, I'm gonna come visit you all the time. <laughs> Can't. I haven't, I haven't done that shit once, but I for sure want to. I know Missouri is like fucking probably a boring ass state, but I still want to go see what it's like. All the fucking nature or whatever's out there. I guess. It's a heard it's very southern. Yeah, I'll probably get fucking all the fucking nasty stairs because bro when we went to arizona and you stop at the gas station on the way yeah you get all the fucking whites just like hey chill out man. chill out you guys are loved chill out i know man i come in peace bro i know i'm an alien but foot <laughs> <laughs> nah but yeah i i, I want to go out there and be the exotic ass who out there yeah um so yeah uh, uh so as we we're saying what were the fuck were we talking about? i fucking went off um <laughs> we're talking about color coordinating we went out to eat um Oh yeah, yeah, Cal- man, the fucking rain, bro. Yeah, you can't. These fucking Californians don't know how to drive once it starts raining. Once it starts sprinkling, you just fucking start seeing the, like the dumbass fools come out, bro. Like they don't know how to use their turn signals. They would just be fucking swerving into your lane and shit. Yeah, like so, I, I can't count. I can't count how many times that people just merge into your lane without using a turn signal. That happened like twice last night when we're, uh, we were driving there. It's like a forgotten rule or something. Like I don't know. We need to get that shit in check, low key, because these cops that they'll see it too, bro. Like, and it pisses me off because I have the worst luck with cops. So, when you see when when I see a cop next to me and there's a car that fucking doesn't use their turn signal, I'm like looking at them like, are you gonna do something? Like, what, what's going on, man? Yeah, I don't know. I, I th- these drivers just need to get it together, man. Um, it's like it's like I, I wonder who's testing these fools because I know when I was test when I was testing for the driver's license, I was shooting bricks. I was like, fuck, I hope I don't get one of these assholes. I actually did end up with the asshole, but he was cool with me. I think I think he low key let me slide because, um, you know how they dock you a point if you go over the line, like from like where they're breaking. Yeah, and I think oh, I, kept, yeah. I think I kept doing it just because like my mom's like Altima, like it had such a like front like big wide front that it was like kind of honestly it was a little bit hard to see like uh, to see the front. And I think he, at that point, I thought I think after like the fifth time, we're like, all right, this was just like. Because I'm not like going egregiously over the line, but I'm still going over it. And I think he was just in a nice mood. And I was like, all right, I'll let you pass anyway. Lucky ass food. I think um, I went over the curb once mm-hmm. and that food didn't say nothing, thankfully. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that I think that's an automatic fail, actually, if you go over the curb. Oh, and I didn't. I, I think because that day I went, it was so busy. I didn't even do like the full test. I basically just went around a whole block. Damn, I'm lucky. Yeah. I did it all. They, they docked me some points for not using my turn signal because they make you, when you're driving, they make you um, pull over to the side, yeah. to the curb, and you're supposed to use your turn signal to do that. And I did that part, but when you're leaving the lane, you have to, or the side, the curb, you have to use your turn signal too. And I, I didn't do that. I just looked over my shoulder, made sure there was no one coming. <laughs> and I, I was just shitting brakes because that, I knew that guy was an asshole from a previous time um, that I went. Um, but I wasn't able to take my test because like the the backlight wasn't working, so I had to get that fixed before I can go take the mm-hmm. test. And then that time, the guy he was like supposed to go to actually he because uh, you know you're um, the you're supposed to wait for the driver the the instructor to get there before the student gets into the driver's seat. Yeah. So the student was already in the driver's seat, and that fool was just going in on the parent. Like, he was like cussing him out, and the parent was cussing him out. I was like, all right, you know what? Fuck it, fail. And they just sent them on their way. 
Damn, yeah, that shit is harsh. Like, you never know what you're going to get when you get there. Yeah. You can have the asshole or you can have the bitch that doesn't give a fuck. Because I had the girl that didn't really care. Like, she was just on her phone the whole time, not even paying attention to me. But I, so that's probably why I passed, like, pretty. I didn't, I mean, no, I'm, I'm a pass, but she didn't dock me as many points as maybe I should have. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really remember, to be honest. But I wonder, like, do you know we're supposed to, like, retake that test ever? I, or is it just that one time and that's it? I think. Because uh, someone, uh, someone I know, like, they, they had a their license expired this year and they had to retake the test but they failed mm, fuck that shit i'm scared loki because yeah. i think they changed a lot of the questions like and nico was showing me his questions and i was like fuck loki i don't know i don't know some of these that you're asking but i'm acting like yeah. i do when i was when i was learning the test there's an app like they had like all the tests because there's only like four different tests yeah and they just like mix up the answers so like so that way like if you get it wrong they'll tell you which one you got wrong and then you skip to the next question mm, i see i see uh yeah man this this weather has been fucking random as shit yeah uh, i think it's gone over the country too because even at for- forbidden kingdom they had to do some delays and all that those poor bastards did you did you see like all the stories about it or whatever yeah and i was like you know what's funny because like uh <laughs> uh the the thing said rain or shine and it started raining they're like yeah now nah, we're gonna have to shut this down well yeah i heard <laughs> that is funny how that works <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I guess it, they probably weren't expecting it to be as bad as it was. Yeah, no, I saw I saw I saw some videos. It looked like a little monsoon out there. I'm like, damn, this is wild. Yeah, dude, it was crazy. I I seen like the videos of it on stage. Yeah, you just see fucking water just pounding on on the stage and everything. So I like I I read that they posted that they had like um damages done to the equipment and all that. So that's yeah. probably why they had to just shut it because I mean um you know there there are like problems that could come when water's hitting the CDJs and all that. So. Yeah. So I'm I'm sure they had to cancel, but I mean in the end it's kind of like it, it was cool because they brought a B, all the B two Bs. I mean I don't know B two Bs are, are tricky because you know you're gonna get a little bit of everyone, but you're not gonna get like the full experience, mm-hmm. especially if they're not like in sync with each other or like they didn't maybe like preset or whatever mm-hmm. preplan some some um track list or whatever. It, it's always wishy washy because sometimes like just the transitions aren't smooth or the flow isn't smooth. Yeah, like because it could like um. Like in one, for example, over there is the Forbidden Four. So it was Sullivan King, Excision, Wooly, and Sudden Death. And I'm like, they all make Duff set, but it all sounds very different. Yeah. And so like, I did see that they were doing like, you know, they were trying to coordinate. Um, but at the same time, it's just like, will it fit? Like, you know, will a Sudden Death song rather go in next into a Wooly song? And to the average listener, like, you know, like the, the little marks out there, uh, they probably like they're like, oh yeah, they're fucking going off. But uh, since we're like. Me and him, we're, it's it's weird since since we since we're DJs and producers, we just whenever we hear like a bad transition or like it just, uh, it's a decent transition, but like it the flow like the feeling isn't the same. You're like ah, it's kind of mid. Yeah, that's the problem. I mean, I don't blame them. They probably it wasn't planned, right? Of like, course, no, 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 no. They, this is the only way they do it because um the the delays the, and all that. Yeah, and so the main stage had to be just was closed down for the rest of the night. So like uh, I think it was Excision and and uh, Sullivan King. Like they had a like they're on the main stage and since they were going to play they had to go into there's other time that's why it was like two hours it's just like a bat to back. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I, I yeah, well, I, I guess they made the best of it. Yeah. I, did, who was? Do you remember who was on the B two B for the other stage? Because I've been hearing a lot that of things was, on that, that one. one. Was a big one. It was a, a lot of like uh, the underground artists. It was uh, I can't I I can't remember. Let me try to find it real quick because I know that's pretty interesting. Yeah, it was a really big B two B. Uh, Forbidden Kingdom. Oh, and then um, I do feel bad because so also uh, Black Tiger Sex Machine, they were supposed to play on the main stage. But these guys, uh, and I commend them, I've always thought they're this part of the aspect of them uh, performing is cool. They only ever play live. So they'll only use like like uh, like DJ machines. They don't really use like mixers to like to like start like playing their sets. And so it, it, it takes a time for the equipment to set up and everything. Like they, they weren't able to play anymore at all. Damn, that sucks. I know. Seen Troy Boy still use the tractor and all that. There's a lot of artists that use like other stuff other than CDJs, mm-hmm. like tractor. Or I think um, what's his face, um, Hoochie, he uses his tractor too. I think. Um. So the other st- or oh, uh, did you see um Alesso start using live instruments? What? Yeah, he he used some live instruments when he opened up for that Copa. What's that fucking tournament? The soccer one. Oh, it just uh, kicked off or whatever. Uh, go with it, right? Let me see. Let me let me search this for the Alesso. Shout out to Lesso, man. That's yeah. cool. I know um, uh, DJ Snake a year ago, he did that, the Paris Stadium. 
That was sick. Yeah. That was like a that was like the true 360 event right there because he was in the middle of the whole um stadium or field, and and they filled up the whole fucking stadium with fans. I wonder yeah. if he gets a lot of love out there whenever he plays like Paris shows. Oh, I'm sure, man. They're they're all about their their cultural people and stuff, and he is too. Like he loves his French people and stuff like that. He loves to give back to his community. Poor my French. Hey, do you think still people are think uh, DJ Snake is Mala mm-hmm. or does that died off? I think it's died off, bro. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty um, obvious that it's not him. Yeah, but like, it was like for like the coolest time, everybody kept saying like, "Oh, it's just DJ Snake under a mask," and just nah. nah. Yeah, who's Dark Web? Who is Dark Web? And it's Tesla, the Istanbul final. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, that's what that's what he played for. Um, I mean, that's dope. I I th- I've been seeing a lot of like EDM artists like getting played for a bunch of this stuff, like a yeah. bunch of sports stuff, like Dior. He played um for the Super Bowl. Mex- Super Bowl, and I think he played for like one of like the Ma- the Mexico team out there. Oh, yeah, see, and I or even he, I think he went to the LAFC um, game as well. Mm-hmm. So a lot of EDM is getting recognized. That's that's dope. It's cool to see. I mean, we got a venture out and all that. Uh, Dirty Audio, I think he plays a lot of, like the indie stuff. Or um, I think Diesel was supposed to play the Daytona, and then he had Valentino replace him. Oh yeah, oh well, yeah, that's that. cool. I mean, you know, we're venturing out. We're getting out there, boys. Hey, people get drunk as hell at Daytona. I've seen. I've seen some TikToks too, bro. And I'm like, damn, look here, I'm gonna just go turn up. Yeah, they get wild. It's not even like 12 p.m. yet. And these <laughs> motherfuckers are all trashed. I'm like, those are my kind of people. Dude, I had it up, but I don't know who the hell's. All right, let's see. I'm trying to find man. It I was, literally saw some girl list off everyone. It was a really, really big back to back. That's why I couldn't name it off off the top of my head because yeah. there's so many artists on there. I think it was eight eight artists. Ah, oh, fuck, man. Why is it so hard to find this shit? Because I know there's a Jiqui, or how do you pronounce his name? Yeah, Jiqui. Oh, that, that's how I've always said it. Jiqui, there was Sweet Tooth. There was uh, damn. There was a bunch of artists I low-key didn't know of. but Okay, I found it. You found it? Yeah. All right, so so the B2B for the other stage. Um, do you remember the stage name? I We didn't go, so we no. don't know shit about it, honestly. But there's Blank Space, B2B Samplifier, B2B Infect, Ooh. B2B Auto... Auto Autumn Hate? I don't know how to pronounce yeah, it. Yeah, Autumn Hate. And then B2, B2B Jiqui, uh Squishy. I think that's how you pronounce yeah. it. There's no U in there. So B2B Inactive, B2B Chango, B2B 7. That's yeah. an artist? Yeah. B2B Sta- Stains, B2B Sweet Tooth, B2B Vulgar, B2B Dr. Ushu, if that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> These fucking dub names. But yeah, that's about it. So that's, 13 artists. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, That was, I mean... Tsh- I don't know. I don't even know how they all got up in there, bro. I get anxiety, man. When when we're up there and there's like so many people around, like I'm, I'm just scared someone's gonna elbow the wrong button. Or I'm something. almost positive it was probably like maybe like at least once of one of someone played and the rest of them was like, all right, I'm just vibe out. I'm just gonna be like be out here just to say I was out here. Yeah, they probably just touched it real quick. Yeah. No, nah, but they. I I heard like the way to go about it with dubstep is to to do a double chop or a hit 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 like two songs and then to the next. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We've never had like a B2B before, actually. I mean, technically we kind of did, but it was like before CDJs and all that. So I, I, I'm pretty excited to to try that out one, t- one day. I wonder who would be like the, the artist we go back to back with. I, 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 I prefer to like plan it out before, like with the artists. Like I don't want to like just go in there blind because I, I hate that. I like, I, like pre- I like to prepare for a set and stuff like that. So it's more, it's more like uh, structured. It's, I love giving like a, a whole experience versus just fucking banger, 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 banger. Yeah. Like I want to tell a story through music and all that. And I feel like um, some artists we probably mesh well with is like Valentino, uh, Ray Burger. Um, who else would we do good with? GTA. I love GTA style, man. Me too. That would be cool. That would be four, four heads up there, though. <laughs> hey, fuck it. Yeah, but um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. With all those people, for sure, like I get anxious, like too many people on stage and stuff like that. I'm not really big on like having the whole crowd behind you. Oh, my God. Have you, did you, uh, I think it was last year's Lost Lands. Uh, so Infect was playing the show. It was just him solo. And he and every like he had all the dust of people behind him. It was like a, it was a crowd behind him. Like in front of a crowd, it was crazy. It looked cool as shit because yeah. it's all it's all just D, their DJ homies and stuff. It was all just DJs and shit. But it was like a whole ass crowd behind him, and it was just people were all going crazy. I was like, "Yo, what the fuck?" That's usually how it is for Neon Garden too. Like, yeah. you see a bunch of people back there. Like, I don't know. It is fun. I'm sure it's cool. I I think I gotta get used to it though. That's for sure. Yeah, I'm not used to like people behind me. I just have like um 
I have trust issues. <laughs> I'm scared like someone's going to come and just bump me and shit. Yeah. Or like I said, spill drinks. Oh, that's my number one fears. Someone spilling drinks on the equipment. Oh, my God. And that shit's happened before. The homie fucking leaked. He, yeah, fucking, he dropped he dropped the fucking beer off the, the monitor that we had. Yeah. And it fucking poured on the controller. It was brand new when we had the controller, too. That first year, I think. Yeah. And so, so it stopped working for a bit or one of the channels. But thankfully, I think it dried out and it got better. <laughs> Shout out Pioneers, man. They're tough. Oh uh, yeah, I wanna I wanna upgrade our, our fucking controller. I wanna get, but it's so much. It costs so much money, and I know. and these things lose the value because they make a number two and number three like the following couple of years. So this thing's probably probably when we bought when we bought it, it was like twenty five hundred, and now it's like probably eight hundred worth. And so the new mixers they're they're all the same price. The new controllers, and so we'll see. Hopefully, because I wanna get the ones that have the Serato and record box because. Our, the way we do it is is since I started off with Serato, I, I, I use Serato essentially pretty much like first. Yeah. And then when we when we have shows and we have to set up cues and all that, make make a set list or even extra set list. Um that's when I transfer our songs from Serato to Recordbox, set up the cue points and there it is. But I know artists like Forby, he does that too. Or or at least um I, I he still uses Serato, Flash Drama still uses Serato. I'm trying to think who else. But yeah, Serato is pretty much if you're like a DJ first, and I I, I know that's what Forby is, or he started off as a DJ, mm-hmm. and we started off that way as well. Um, Plaza too, I, they used to throw like parties, and they were just they were just DJs first, and then they started doing the trap. Yeah, both of them. I know. I think I heard on back to back podcasts um, shout, with Willie Joy. Shout out back to back. If you guys haven't listened to that podcast, you guys really should. It's uh, it's a really cool one where he uh, interviews artists and gets like a really deep dive on just them and like how they came up and shit. Yeah, exactly. And 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 sure, oh, soon enough we'll get we'll get some um, guests on here as well. Of course, with like artists that you probably like more up and coming style or like even even some artists that we're friends with now. You know, we'll we'll be sure to hit them up and get them on. Yeah. And um, yeah, because we want to like we are a podcast that talks like generic stuff, like general stuff. Mm-hmm. But we also want like incorporate a lot of like a music aspect as well. And and like rave lifestyle and stuff like that. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, if you want more of either or just let us know. Or if you got like any artists you want us to get on eventually, let us know. We'll note it down and then eventually we'll go down the list. We'll hit them up. And if they ignore us, they'll ignore us. And if not, then, you know, they're coming on. <laughs> yeah, but, oh, oh, well, it is what it is. If we get ignored, I, I don't know. I don't really get butthurt over that. It is what it is. Um, so, yeah, uh, coming up soon, uh, we actually have in two days uh, our EDC vlog. No, no, not in two days. Two days is Jonathan's birthday. Yeah. So, uh, Jonathan, from, is, Jonathan huh? from, from Maple Alley. Um, he, that old bitch. <laughs> yeah, from Maple Alley, our, our Ponte Las Pilas podcast. Um, you guys will recognize him, Jonathan, uh, he, or Gazelle, they like to call him. Uh, it's his birthday, and then in five or six more days, we got um, Johnny's birthday. That fat bitch. Yeah, June's a busy ass month for us, and uh, well, I, I they haven't said anything about party or whatever or link or any type of event, but I'm sure we'll get together and do something. Maybe yeah. vlog it out. Uh, speaking of vlogs, we got the EDC vlog coming out, or it just came out actually, because when this comes out, it's gonna be out already. Yeah. So if you want to see how our EDC went, you know we didn't we got. A decent amount of footage on there but you know when we're at the events we like to just enjoy ourselves we're not really we don't have the like the vlogger hat on us yet you yeah know, we're, we're still getting accustomed to that um but we'll, we'll we'll get there we'll get some higher quality vlogs uh i want to i want to see if we, maybe we could try to record for hard summer uh only some of us are going though so we'll see how that works out yeah uh it's, hopefully it's fucking hot by then i you know because i love like cold weather and shit but i'm trying to experience hard summer like where it's actually warm <laughs> That'd be cool. Um, uh, what's it called? It's gonna be at the LA Coliseum, so I'm excited for that. Yeah, and they're gonna use like the um, the Coliseum, the 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 stadium where LAFC plays, and like the two like the two little parks that are outside of it. So it's gonna be freaking huge. Yeah. I, I, well, they they're trying to say like it's not that much of a walk, but cap. I went because I went for the Mexico game. I went to the Coliseum. I'm like it's a walk, man. I'm about to be running stage to stage. It's a walk just to get from like the stadium to the Coliseum. It's not okay. They're, they're, they're right next to each other, but like it's still because they're obviously like, you know, they're like a venue. So there's still a bit of a walk you have to do. Facts, facts, facts. So we got to get our fucking fitness on right now because I got fat over the fucking EDC in Hawaii. I know I got fucking fat. Yeah. I probably gained like five, 10 pounds low key. Uh, but I, I, when I go back to the gym, I want to start using the Stairmaster, hit it for like 30 minutes. Get those glutes It's going to be a bitch, man. I know I gotta I gotta fit these fucking pants more better. 
um yeah we got i, I want to get back on the finish shit you know i think i probably haven't gotten like a month and that's like the longest it's been in a while yeah well we'll get back on it you know it's just like uh, you know with the the thing that happened it's uh, kind of threw off our schedule a bit but we'll get back on it facts facts you know i'm excited i'm, I'm excited to hear the gym bros again all their fucking yep 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 uh definitely never went back to that gym again <laughs> for real no actually he did but he wasn't loud for some reason <laughs> the roids weren't kicking in yet yeah 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 there's this one guy at the gym and, he, and i think he was just being like super fucking loud uh do you remember it was like some squatting machine i think huh yeah and he was just like yeah. i know comment below if you know someone like that or tag them <laughs> or tag someone that does steroids fuck it let them Facts. air them out air them out I I wonder how I look on steroids. I don't want to take it because of the side effects. Yeah, but I'm always curious, like what I look like if I was like fucking jacked, yoked. It would um, be pr- f- fucking weird. Like having probably fu- be like super duper cut and shit. Because you do develop more muscle faster, but obviously you're not gonna get like fucking like big, I, big either. I gotta try that AI and see how I look yoked. Mm-hmm. Maybe I might do it. It's like, nah, fuck that shit. It's too many like m- emotional swings and stuff like that, or uh, my balls. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying to lose those. Um, what's it called? Like Trend? Trek? Do you remember the name of it? There's one called like Trek or something like that. Trend. Yeah. Um, there's a bunch of different um, types of uh, uh, steroids you use and testosterone and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and there's like, it's crazy how common it's gotten. Like literally like every other person in the gym is on it. And you could tell now. I mean, yeah. Like, so like if you're not going to be like fucking um, going into like competitions or anything like that, then like, you know, you, by all means, like, it's not like who's going to tell you, like, oh, you're on, you're, you shouldn't be using steroids. I'm like, it's their body if they want to be having heart attacks at fucking 40. <laughs> yeah. That's like, that's how fucking Eddie died. Eddie Guerrero. Fucking all the roids he was using. It was like a big problem and, and finally all caught up, unfortunately. Yeah. I wish I got to see him live. Me too. Hmm. Tear, tear. Uh, but yeah, dude, uh, steroids in general, they've been super fucking common. Y'all got to be careful for that, honestly. Yeah. Too many people are dying or like having health problems. I don't know. It's not worth it. And you'd be surprised, man. Like literally every, I have like a bunch of friends from high school and every fucking single one that I'm starting to see, like all of a sudden it just got yoked. It's just like, nah, man, that was way too quick and they're way too cut. And it's just like, you didn't have that much veins before. Man. Yeah. It's just crazy. And then you have to be worried about where you place it too, because apparently you have there's certain areas where you can and can't. We have a we have a homie. I love you boys to death. I'm gonna area you out by your name, but he would put he he put he kept putting him in his shoulder, and I guess he uh, he got he got it got like, but I don't know like uh, he basically like he was like, in pain, man. He was in pain. His shoulder was messed up for like a while. He couldn't he couldn't even go to the gym anymore. Like he was just that fucked up from his shoulder, and I was like, Vic, get by this. <laughs> yeah, fuck. I, I love you though. Yeah, my boy's looking good, though. Yeah, he looks good. Looks good. But the only thing I'm scared, like, well, not the only, but, like, one of the nasty parts about that is, like, the, the fools that are, like, start breaking out on their back or their chest. Yo, that's crazy. That's a dead giveaway, by the way. Yeah. But, but that's, that shit's, like, fuck, man. Because they get, like, a reaction to, like, the uh, whatever's in that shot. Yeah, and, and that's, I don't that's know about weird. you guys, but, like, for me, my personal insecurity is, like, acne and shit like that. Like, that's me the one thing. Me, too. I, I pride myself because I don't really get acne. So whenever I'll get the random pimple, like, and I just, I just leave it alone. I don't pop it because I know it's going to go away, but I just, I'm like, I don't want to be in them. Cause like some people, like they develop acne later in life. And I, me. I, I keep praying to God. I'm like, don't do this to me, dog. I'm already, I'm already overweight. I've already wear glasses. Don't fucking give me the acne as well. Nah, bro. Yeah. I, I never broke out in high school, like middle school, high school. And yeah. I, I never had like acne problems. And now all of a sudden I turn eight because it, it, it did start happening when I was 18. Like I'll get like random ones right here mm-hmm. on my neck, the back of my neck, my fucking face. But it would just be like one, one, one. It wouldn't be like a fucking nasty fucking, you know, like an outbreak. Yeah, outbreak. It would just be one when that shit pisses me off. And mm-hmm. I'm like, why? And me, I have that problem where I just got to fucking be peeling my shit. Like I got to fucking pop it. If I as soon as I see it, I try to pop it. Or as soon as I get a scar, I got to fucking peel it. Like that's yeah. how I've always been with everything. And so it just pisses me off, man, that I can't, I can't like hold myself back and I just do it and then I get left scarred out and shit. I do get the occasional ones like on my uh, like chin area because of the, of the hairs. So apparently if you have curly hair, apparently like because uh, they're curly, they kind of like yep. go back into the you. ingrown. Yeah. So like I've had a couple of those and I'm not like, those are kind of fun to just like break apart because it's not really technically like a pimple. It's just uh, the skin just ended up going over it. So you're basically just taking off the uh, the little hair. And mm-hmm. Those are always fun to pull out. Yeah. That shit usually... 
It usually happens right here mm-hmm. or um, like right now I have one right here. This is fucking annoying. Shout out Hawaii. That's when I got it. Or uh, on my fucking head, my scalp. I'm like, come on, man. Those shits fucking hurt. I feel bad for the sorry fuckers that got like a really big one on the tip of their nose. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, I don't have that, but I've had that before. But yeah. I have one like right in between my fucking eyes right here. It's like tiny as fuck. Yeah. That's just so fucking annoying, man. Uh, but fuck pimples. Um, I, I tried using like the face cleanser thingies, mm-hmm. but I don't know. I never see results out of those, even if I use them consistently. I use the ones where like uh, it removes oils because my face mm-hmm. naturally gets super greasy. I don't mm-hmm. even do nothing. I'm just like sitting down all of a sudden like, I go up, I see the mirror, my face is all greased up. I'm like, Fuck. facts, man. That shit happens to me too. Or like, I don't know if you ever had this problem where like no matter how many times you wash your hands, they feel like sticky still. Like, yeah, I, I deal with that a lot. My hands sweat a lot. Like literally every every relationship I had that <laughs> you see me holding hands, I'll be the one sweating. Same. I'm like, nah, but that's you, not me. <laughs> I'm like, you have clammy hands. I'm like, well, shut up, bitch. <laughs> that's a real man's hand. Feel yeah. me? Nah, but fucking... Uh, th- that's another thing too, though. It's like going from work and then to the gym. It's just sweat after sweat. I'm like, fuck, man. I wish there was more time in the day. Yeah. Just to fucking, at least I could shower in between. Cause I'll shower fucking two times a day. I don't care. I've always been a shower guy. I used to shower like three times a day when I was living my, well, when I was in like element, no middle school, high school, I would shower like three times a day. My mom yell at me saying I'm wasting water and all that. Yeah. I had that. My brother had the same habit too. And she, she was like, hey, you got to chill with the water. Yeah, I mean it's just refreshing, man. I yeah. love I love the feeling the like the feeling after showering. It's either like energetic, uh, or it's just like I don't know. I just feel like like relaxed, and then, especially in the summer, man. I gotta shower multiple times. Yeah, of course. Uh, I hate showering. Um, how do I put this? I don't. I I like to shower, but I really hate like because. You, you know how like it, with your hair, you're not really supposed to be shampooing it like often. Yeah. You're actually you're actually fucking you're fucking up your hair. And so I'm so I'm so paranoid about like anything aspects of my hair because I don't want to be like one of those people that be like balding and shit. So, but because we get like I don't even know how this shit happens, but your hair, our hair at work just it just gets dirty. I don't know how like this it dust does. just the dust just goes in the hair. It's just everywhere at work, dude. Yeah, like, like, you can't even see it, but it's just there. Yeah, like I, I like we have to shower like a shampoo the hair, and then I see that I see like it, the dirt's coming off. I'm like fuck. Facts. And it gets annoying because I'm like I'm like look I'm not trying to get bald, all right. Yeah, bro, and, and for me, what I saw, I'm loading trailers, mm-hmm. uh, so I'm like literally going in and out, like I'm getting fucking dirty in my eyes. I gotta start wear, wearing my glasses. It, it's fucking inconsistent, like um putting them on and shit, cause it's just annoying. Like you start like fogging them up, or they get all like wet and shit. So well, I, don't I know, and then, I don't know. It's just annoying, man. And I, but I gotta take care of my vision for sure, cause I pride myself in having that 2020 vision. My my mind shit's been fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, hey, what happened to your eyes this weekend? Ah, uh, dude, I don't know. So after the Saturday, I got I went home because we were we were, we, were ch- uh, we were chilling at his house, uh, partying it up. And I got home, and I don't know. I, I honestly I still don't know what the hell happened. But I woke up because I was thirsty. You know, I needed to take a piss, and all of a sudden I'm like, ow! I'm like, what the fuck? And I feel like someone just socked me in my eye. Like I was like in so much pain in my eye. I'm like, yo, what the fuck happened? And I'm like, I don't recall someone socking <laughs> me out, but I was in pain the whole day yesterday. And even today, right now, like my eyes still are fucking hurts. It hurts to blink. Luckily, I'm going to an optometrist today to get new glasses. And they can tell me like, yo, what the hell is going on? Are they going to give you new glasses? Um, I'm going to try to get new ones because I, I went to a different spot that a buddy recommended to me, but they were trying to give me like $300 glasses. And I'm like, I'm not paying for it. Uh, what's wrong with your glasses? None. I just oh, like that. Just... I just like to have a second pair because I'm always breaking them. It's just, it's just, it's just a matter of when. They'll be free or you got to pay? Uh, I'm gonna try to get the free ones. I'm never, I've never been a brand person because I like I break shit easily all the time, especially with glasses. So I just will always go with anything that's okay. cheap. The homie Johnny, he in high school, he will like break his glasses all the time. Like he'll try to do like shuffle moves with his glasses and or fucking spin them, throw them, and all that. Yeah, <laughs> he'll do the dumbest shit with his glasses. But this will like always break one of the, like the what are they called the, the parts that go on your ear? Um, he'll break the frame. Yeah. And, and and so he'll be missing one and have the other and he'll tape he'll have to tape in the corner. But a lot of the time the tape will wear off and then he'll yeah. just lose it eventually and he'll just be rocking like he'll be rocking and hanging off of one ear. Yeah, and it's like going like this because <laughs> yeah, I need both ears to have or, it straight. Or it's tilted like this. Damn, it's fucking <laughs> be glad if you guys have twenty twenty vision. You never have to deal with this bullshit. Facts. Stop taking uh, your health for granted. Yeah. Or like fucking hands, bro. I think about losing my hands or my legs. I bro, <laughs> this is funny. Uh, so there's this, um, I, I was probably like 
eight or 10 years old. I, I for sure wasn't in school yet. No, if I was, I was like early ages in school. But pretty much um, I, I went to a family party. I don't know this lady, but I, or at least maybe if we did, it was just like back then. So I, my, my mom knew her. So uh, but I've never recognized her before. And it was at my uh, one of my uncles and aunts parties. Yeah. And um, this lady, she was um, so it's probably fucked up now. Obviously, I was like a kid, though. She was she had she was an amputee like when she she was missing half her arm Ooh. so she had like the nub or whatever yeah. like and bro I remember when I seen her I got fucking scared bro <laughs> I went crying to my mom <laughs> or, and then and the bro you know this fucked up they they try to make it like seem like normal or okay so they brought her I mean it is but. They tried to like um, comfort me by making her come and give me a hug. <laughs> bro, that shit had That's me shitting. Worse, they had me shitting bricks, bro. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. I know, and, and and ever since then, like I don't know. Well, not ever since then. I you know, I matured out of it, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. Like I never looked at her the same. Get that nub away from me. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking dumbass. Yeah. Oh shit. And then um. Uh, I feel, I mean, fuck, man, that's crazy. I wonder how she got her shit lost because she seemed healthy, I guess. Uh, maybe uh, diabetics are usually the legs, huh? Yeah, usually the legs. Uh, you know, it's funny. I had a, a buddy in middle school. I think, what was his name again? Uh, his name was Alex or Alexi. He he got his leg amputated because it, his, it's his dumbass fault. He had a friend, like, they would, like, play this game where they would jump off moving trains and his, and his leg got caught. And they had an amputated leg. Like, he was like, but we didn't know what happened to him. He was just gone for like almost a year. And he comes back next year, boom, prosthetic leg. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Would you rather be without your arms or legs? Um, mm, oh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> leg. Oh, legs? Yeah. Boy, both or one? I would say both, but I mean... Yeah, uh, both because it's like it's 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 a completely different lifestyle whether it's arms or legs. Ah, damn. Um, if it's both and legs, fuck yeah, it. yeah, I I agree because I feel like you need your fingers, man. Like your fingers are more useful than your toes. Oh no, no, wait, I I, 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 fuck. I would be without my arms for real, only because I'm thinking about it and I'm like. It'd be a little less of a conven- inconvenience because if you didn't have your legs, you'd be obviously be in a wheelchair. You'd have to be like you getting like those special cars with a thing where like <laughs> and it makes it all heavy and shit. You can't ever use like a staircase again. And I, I've noticed like uh, like the world is not like really convenient for people in wheelchairs. It's, it's just it's just not. They, they're trying to, but it's not. Okay, I, I could do without my arms. Are you sure? Because how are you going to be pressing buttons? How are you going to make music, my boy? <laughs> With your toes like a monkey? Or that was my nose. I seen a drummer, actually. He would use his feet. <coughs> or or no, there's this guy. Um, He, he was on YouTube, at least, um, making videos where um he, he was playing, like, rock band w- yeah. by himself, though. So singing, playing the guitar, and, and hitting the drum pads with his fucking feet. I miss rock band, man. I, I, I've been wanting to buy it again for my Wii. Cause I had it for Xbox 360, but I don't really use my Xbox, and and also I lost like half the equipment. But I for sure want to like buy a Rock Band again and, yeah. and play. It. Bro, that show's ahead of its time. It really was. Do you remember uh, that DJ Hero game? Oh yeah, I, I had it too. I think I still have the turntable theme. I, I had it for the one. Wii. It was. Cool. I mean, they had cool mashups and all that, but I don't know. It's kind of a stupid game. Yeah, <laughs> but it looked cool. It did. It, it, it looked cool, and I remember um, even the the Guitar Hero when they did like the full banding. I love I love their drum set. How they had like the extra um, what are they called symbols? Mm-hmm. They had those things, the extra ones. That shit was sick. Um, but yeah, uh, I th- I feel like Rock Band Two had the best track list of of them all. I don't know if you ever played them, but I have. I just never owned one. Yeah, that shit's fun, man. I and <laughs> I would play in the mornings. Like my um, so before school, my my mom was the one that took us to school, and and I had like two neighbors that pulled up, and and we would give them rides. And um, they would come earlier so we could play on rock band and shit all early, waking my mom up and shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's yeah, that's just fun, man. Um, I think I'm, I wonder like a lot of like the newer generations even know about that game. Because, bro, when I introduced the, the Wii to Aiden, the, like he loved it. He didn't. Yeah, because he didn't know what that was. Yeah. So I'm sure like a lot of kids will like the older consoles nowadays and shit. Mm-hmm. It's like more interactive. Or uh, have you ever played the Wii Fit? I have. I love Wii Fit. It was cool. The game, the games on the Wii Fit are sick. Like yeah. you could like balance on a rope and go like it, it teaches you a lot of better like balance and stuff like that. Or you can even do like some weight loss shit. 
Yeah, shout out Wii, man. It was that was ahead of its time too. For real, I would go on Facebook and MySpace on that shit. Oh yeah, <laughs> back then. Uh, you, oh yeah, because you could use the internet on there, huh? Yeah, yeah, you could use the internet on there, or even on PS3. Um, but yeah, with the Wii, like I don't know, it was cool. Like you could create your me characters and stuff like that. Bum, 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 or you know, um, bum, bum, P- bum. PlayStation had their own like Sims or GTA. I don't know if you remember that. They did. It's called PlayStation Home, I think. Oh, they did. I remember that. It was very short lived. Like uh, same thing. It was ahead of its time for some reason. It just didn't like go well with the consumers. Like they didn't latch onto it like how they should or whatever. But I seen like there's these hackers or whatever. They're going through the thing and they're 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 opening the service again. But only independently. It's not through PlayStation. Yeah. Because they, yeah. they shut that shit down. Uh, the big thing right now for that kind of stuff is VR chat. Yeah. Oh, okay. So people like little gay VR devices and you like you can like choose to like either make your own person or they like use different skins. You and see then, that new Apple one? Yeah. That, did you see how much it costs though? Like 3500 or something like that? Yeah. Dang. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> I'd I'm, rather I, spend that money like on CDJs. I'm not into the VR shit yet, but it seems super like interesting mm-hmm. i don't know i gotta i gotta check that out for sure but if not for that price <laughs> yeah i've always uh i've always been the person that's like never buys it immediately i'll wait till like the price cools down um which usually isn't the case but then you know the, the ps5 has been like over 700 dollars for like two years already i'm like damn i thought you guys would be 200 already facts uh, i'm excited to see what what's next for like ps six and stuff like that or no bro gta is coming out i think next year and i hear it's like gonna be double the size like the map is gonna be double the size of gta um was it five yeah Yeah, gta GTA five um i mean that shit i hate i I hate the new the new way of of gaming where you have to like download the updates and stuff like that because bro it'll take forever it'll take hours or even days for some i think yeah and then there's um i forget who i saw there's a youtube channel i saw and there was a video saying like company like game companies are purposely making these month like file like files like super largest so that way they can take out the fucking space on the shit and then they basically like you won't have any space for like other games yeah and then they're basically being like greedy i'm like hey motherfucker i'm not trying to spend all this money on fucking memory space yeah that is true that I don't, bro what the fuck's up with madden though they need to they need to bring if they're going to be taking out that much space they need to be bringing back the fucking custom team custom player creative yeah. player Cause that was my shit. Like I've always loved creating your own team and player and shit. I'll fucking give my player the 99s all around. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, man. They just um, they they keep doing like, oh, new vision sets or new action sets. You could do this. I'm like, how about making the game actually fucking better? Yeah, for real. Like I don't know, man. Uh, I I miss I miss that whole c- customization or even NFL Street. You remember NFL yeah, Street? That, that shit was like, sick. But there is a n- different game coming out. I don't know if you've ever played them. NCAA. Oh yeah, well yeah, because they stopped making them for a while, huh? Yeah, but now they're bringing it back, which is cool. Because I actually always kind of did prefer NCAA because you could always you you know you pick your little guy from high school, pick the college you wanted him to go to, and you take that college all the way to the fucking championship. Which is never, and I would always pick the shitty ass schools like fucking South Carolina State or fucking East Car- <laughs> East Coast University, and I'm like, damn, go Pirates. What was your dream college going to? <laughs> Notre Dame. For real, another game. Yeah, they've I, I, they've always had my attention for whatever reason. Like I, I never had like any connection to them, but for I think maybe it was the the helmet. Yeah, the the gold helmet, and they they always had like the the luck of the Irish game where they would always have the sick customized like uh, like jerseys. Like they'd only would play that one time in the game, and I just found those. I I still I I have the fucking fight song memorized in my head. Like not the words, but like the how like dun 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 like i literally have that shit stuck in my head because i've used it for ncaa my first dream college or university was um arizona state i still would love to go there actually bro their uniforms are hard like they all, are. all their, their football uniforms yeah their football uniforms are hard they're i love i love the 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 mascot yeah i love i like that the, the actual university is split up into four different campuses so you can like See? go into different parts of arizona uh the people there the women crazy <laughs> no, I, I would love to, i mean i've always had interest in like moving over there arizona because mm-hmm. i mean the they have a they have the the a nice like music scene yeah, like a uh, nightlife and you know I, I we're dj so that's a pretty good like spot to to grow i guess um but yeah it's, it just seems intriguing over there it's kind of like a middle land of, of of vegas and um california like where we're from la yeah. It's like a it's like a mesh of both, and then you get the lake, Lake Havasu. Oh yeah, I've never been. Have you ever been? Yeah, I've been there a couple of times. Um, vacation with my family and stuff. I have a cousin who owns like some properties at the Airbnbs, 
and uh, we went jet skiing over there. That's why I first did the jet skis. Mm, okay. Uh, but yeah, Arizona's sick. I mean, it's hot as fuck. That's what does suck. But overall, I think it'll be a cool spot to move. It's a little cheaper than here. It yeah. should be a lot cheaper. But ever since like the market went up and all that, it's 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 kind of like in our range now. <laughs> Unless you get like a, a smaller house. But what's the point of, of changing your life and moving all the way out there if you're just going to get a smaller house? Yeah. The point is to get a bigger house for a less price than what you'll get out here. Because, man, L.A., you get fucking a shed for like a little shack for fucking 500K. And then and then the rent out there is crazy. Like, I don't know why people just keep moving to L.A. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. It's a location. Uh, also, I'm not, I'm, people are always shitting on the IE, but L.A. is just bad. Yeah, facts. I, like, bro, what it is? What is it with LA people thinking like our sh- like their shit don't stink? Like, bro, you, every corner smells like piss. Yeah. I'm not. And I'm not trying to shit on LA. There's cool stuff about it, but yeah. those motherfuckers be having fucking high ass egos <laughs> compared to where the IE people are from. Yeah, they call us like desert rats and shit. And I'm like, like you guys, you fucking, it smells like pee over. You have like 15 homeless on the fucking side of your street right now. Yeah, facts. Montana needs to start getting the hate it's getting, man. Yeah. I'll talk about my city like that. Uh, but nah, dude, Arizona. Arizona's always been like a cool spot in my eyes. No, so. yeah, it's been super dope. I've always, I've always had a good time every time we've gone out there. Yeah. Um, I think they're even starting, they've been starting like branching out relentless beats. Mm-hmm. Like they've been making like techno events and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know, have you ever heard the, I don't know, have you been seeing the, the drama? Not drama, but it's like, debates on techno and hard style and big room like how they're like people are calling techno techno when it shouldn't be like it's like the mesh of techno sounding like hard style yeah and then to some people like they're making big techno like it's like big room techno is a new big room to some people's eyes and i see like the i can see where everyone's coming from yeah i mean like there's a very there's a thin line where you uh, things can mix up but i mean there's very clear uh, uh, distinctions of them yeah, so hard style. I have for sure seen some like side trance hard style songs mm-hmm. that are categorized as techno, and that's for sure. Like, all right, no, nah, that's not techno. But the big room techno, I can see where that that's coming from. The whole future rave sound kind of like change is like changing the game almost. Or yeah. like when Hardwell came back, he has like a new techno vibe, but it's like big room synths, big room. You know, it's kind of I could see it as like big room like eight oh eight stuff like yeah. that. But I mean, I, I'm here for it, man. It's cool. It yeah, I feel like it, it's a new sound almost, like, and it's bringing attention. Like people are people are saying, like, I was never into techno, but now because of this, like, I am. Yeah, and I, I mean, mean, it's cool because think about it. Like, so there's, you know, the market. Like people, people are only gonna get booked because of the market says so. So if people are loving techno. We're gonna get a lot more techno DJs, which I'm all for because there's so many. There's a, so many techno DJs out that play in Europe. That they don't even they don't even think about playing out here because they don't think there's a market out here. So what's the point of them buying a visa? But now the fact that there's gonna be a demand for them, then we'll get fucking sick ass artists like Dico Morano, Trim, Alignment, like all these motherfuckers that we wish we could see out here, but they just don't come play out here. Yeah, because they all got big followings, but they're just not big out here in the states. Yeah. And so I mean, I don't know. I've always been where like the more attention the better. And as long as everyone's coming with good energy, good vibes, like yeah. it shouldn't matter. Like we need a bigger audience of whether it's hard style or fucking techno or, or um, dubstep. We need bigger audiences everywhere. Yeah. Because because one day like they're going to have those songs like being mainstream and whether people like that or not, that's what the goal is. Essentially, it's to, to get more eyes, to get more views, to get more plays, to get more support, get more money. Get You know, there's 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 a market out there for everyone. It's yeah. just about getting the new um the new uh, fan bases and stuff like that. Yeah. So the, for those techno elitists, and because there is, it's very elitist uh, er, uh, yeah. genre of area saying like, oh, we want to keep it underground. And I'm like, you know, think about the artists, man. They, they they could get booked out here more often. We could actually get fucking big ass, like dedicated techno festivals, like for camps and yep. shit, like shit like out here that we're, you know, you're literally looking at shit on your Instagram. Like, I wish I was being out there. Then fucking, you know, have this have a bigger be a bigger scene out here. Yeah, more more event companies everywhere around the the country. Um, yeah, I don't I don't see why it would hurt. Like, I get it. You want it to be underground, but uh, uh, like, I'm sure the DJs want bigger stages, bigger platforms. Yeah. You know, it's not about um, staying smaller scale, really. Unless I mean, if you're just if it's just a hobby or whatever, go for it. But a lot of us are trying to make 
money so that we can support ourselves while doing what we love. Yeah, then they this is very are trying to make a career out of this. Yeah, and, it's a business. They, and they are too. So you know if they, if they can get booked out here, all better. Yeah, you know, and, and sure we're doing it because it's our love, but we gotta pay the bills and shit. So of course. so I mean I don't know, just keep spreading the love, keep spreading the knowledge, keep spreading the music, but keep spreading the pillar. Plur, baby, plur. Um yeah, good energy, good vibes. Uh speaking of techno though, we got fucking dark web. They released the a new single with uh Barong family. I, they're doing a single every month, so uh the hit the floor just release. Check it out. I uh, believe we'll, last Wednesday, right? Yeah, Wednesday. So we'll put the link down in the description below. You can check it out. Yeah. Um I you guys think, are killing it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think that that concludes this episode. Um we'll we'll move it on to off the web. Off the web. All right, let's get it. This this past week we spun hip hop. Hip hop. So uh if y'all didn't know uh, we we used to DJ like house party and stuff like that. So uh, my roots, well, not my roots, because I've always loved EDM and I actually started mixing like Dirty Dutch and stuff like that first. Mm-hmm. But hip hop's always been in my life because my parents were bumping that shit or the, my uncles and aunts. like They'll put me on to like 50 Cent, Eminem, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Um, So, so you know, I, I've always loved the, the older hip hop, like the early 2000s. Um, there's some songs here and there then in post like 2020 and stuff like that that I fuck with but I, I don't really follow artists like that anymore unfortunately you know I, I just, there's just too much music out there and 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 you know my my mind's already fucking put on the EDM world yeah you know if I was a hip hop DJ like that'd be sick like remember when Metro Boomin came out and he played EDC that was fucking cool as shit that yeah was we, and we had DJ Mustard a couple times at the Insomniac events wow. he he's sick as fuck like I mean I, we didn't see Metro so I wouldn't know but seeing Mustard, like how he meshes the uh, hip hop and EDM, it was yeah. like perfect. Well, he played it hard. It was so fucking cool. Or when he, yeah, when he went back to back with Yellow Claw. Yeah, that shit was tight. They need to do one of those again. That would be sick. He, he shout out him. I don't know if you've seen his recent post, but he's on a big weight loss journey and he's lost a lot of weight. Good for him. He'll be looking like a fat potato too. <laughs> I don't know. I gotta lose his sponsor, but yeah. But anyway, off the web, uh, hip hop. You got your. Uh, it was. It's my turn now. Huh? Yes, you go first. All right, let's get it. We're not going to play these because we for sure will get copyright. Fuck yeah. And uh, because it's like hip hop and bigger record labels, they might even fucking cut, make it make it mute and all that. Yeah. So that's how the YouTube game works. You'll get muted. And apparently get, apparently, the TikTok game, apparently. Yeah, dude. There's, there's been a couple of, of mixed choices that they Which got taken crazy. down. crazy. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure maybe the big room one for sure. But the last, the, the dubs up one or was it trap one? It was dubstep. No, no, no! It was it was trap. It was, was trap. trap. The travel one. I'm like, how? So, so the videos don't get taken down, but they get muted. And I'm is, like, so it's like pointless keeping it up. So, that, that, that's the only thing about get about TikTok because people are literally putting like songs into their TikToks, and I it's know. fine. But when we we're actually playing them, it, it, I don't know. I don't get yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. It was it was stupid, but. But it is what it is. You can still check out the off the web playlist to check out our picks. And of course, uh, of course. we update it weekly. So check it out on the description below if you want to see Miguel's last picks or even Instagram. Instagram, you can still see his picks up there. So, uh, But for this week, uh, off the web hip hop edition, baby. We're going to start off with number five, ASAP Ferg, Shaba, featuring ASAP Rocky. Oh my God, that was a banger. That was a banger. I was like a junior, senior when it came out. Yeah. And man, that shit was on repeat. Anything Ferg. Oh, well, he technically goes by Ferg now, but back then it was ASAP Ferg, so. Yeah, they got um, beef now. <laughs> so number four, we got uh, Metro Boomin' Future, Chris Brown, Superhero, Heroes and Villains. That one's a more newer track. Um, I love Metro Boomin's productions. Him and Mustard, like, they they get down with everything they release pretty much. Uh, But, but yeah, number three, we got TI-24s. Shout out fucking, I Keep. think it was Need for Speed that, that had that song blowing up. Or not blowing up, but it, that's what that was big part where I got it from. Or was it Midnight Club? One of those fucking games. Um, number two, Lil John and the East Side Boys get low. Classic right there. As always, yeah, that's so. always gonna turn up every party, every club you're at. Uh, we've even played it in a couple of our sets. We might bring it back. You never know. Uh, number one, we got Gangsters and Strippers by Too Short. That song right there, man. Gangsters and Strippers. That's, my dicks. that's that's Mike's ultimate hype song. Hell yeah, I fucking love that shit. Uh, it was my it was my go to at, at all the house parties, and so now it's your turn. All right, for my top five, uh, number five, I gotta pick this. Is my ultimate favorite song by him. It's Drake Wu Tang Forever. I fucking love this song to death. It's very underrated. It's not even like 
a popular song, but I fucking love the beat. It's go crazy. Number four, I pick uh, Lil Wayne, Go DJ from the Carter 2, because mm-hmm. also I think it came out on Midnight Club. And I was like, that's the first time I actually ever heard of Lil Wayne. And I was like, damn, this was going crazy. And ever since then, he's he's always going to be one of my top favorite artists. Facts. For number three is Stupid Young featuring Mozzie Mando. When I first heard this song, I thought this fool was just, um, I didn't know he was Asian. He did not sound Asian. He's very he's a very hood Asian. <laughs> But he did not sound Asian in this song. But it, the song goes crazy. It's one of his best songs ever. And number two for me is Suicide Boys and Arca because they put in that one Dead Mouse song, I remember. And they actually got, they didn't get in trouble for it. Like, he didn't sue him for it, but he did call him out on it. Like, y'all, you can't even give me credit for that shit. Damn. But that song goes crazy. And for number one, Puya Suicidal Thoughts in the Back of the Cadillac. Ooh, Puya, Puya, Puya. That's one of the first songs I ever heard from him. And to this day, it's my favorite song. Shout out, Puya. For that gold rush, missing the gold rush set. I know. I still <laughs> haven't seen them. Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, that's a stacked ass playlist right there. Yours was too. Um, we're now we'll spin it out for our next week's. Yes. I believe it's your turn. Yes, sir. Uh, spin the wheel. What we got? What we got? Nineties music. So now we're going back to the nineties, baby. We hit the we hit the eighties already. Um. Wait, did we do 90s already? No, we did. No, 80s. we did. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, 90s. Uh, I'm excited for that. Um, that's where like the fucking Euro dance music was fucking booming. I'm I'm gonna tr- I'm gonna incorporate a lot of that shit because that's my favorite right there. Not at the Roxbury shit. Not at the Roxbury. Uh, that that song, Children's stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Robert Miles. Yeah. Um, I'll probably throw in some hip hop too. We'll see what's up. We'll see what's up. But uh, we'll see you guys on um off the web tomorrow. Live stream will be on. Thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. We need more subscribers, man. Y'all didn't know you hit the subscribe button down fucking below. For real. Share it out with your friends and family. Yeah, share it out. Um, let's 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 get I think we're at we're almost at the 200 mark for subscribers. So yeah. Uh, you know, if you want to see your boys doing more episodes, more anything, uh just keep supporting. That'll be your like, subscribe, share, everything because That'll go a long way in the long run. You know, eventually we can get, you know, YouTube revenue, just different sources of income, and then we could quit our bitch-ass jobs For real. and give y'all more content, whether it's uh, um, Wolf's Web or Off the Web, live streaming, Maple Alley shit. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see you guys next week. Uh, be sure to check out the next Maple Alley video, our past EDC vlog. We'll, um, be sure to check out fucking our off the web mixes and uh dark webs releases and uh we'll see you soon i know we got some some new wolf logic music coming soon uh with some sick collaborators and sick so collaborators so yeah man thank y'all again and we'll see you next week peace later